In this video, we will show you how to take a saliva sample for COVID-19 testing. It will explain how to test yourself or another person for COVID-19 using the Saliva Sample Collection Kit. It tells you how to take your sample, how to safely package your sample for transportation to the laboratory, and how you will receive your results. Your organization will give you your test kits in a grey envelope that looks like this. The LAMP test is for people who are not showing symptoms of COVID-19, otherwise known as asymptomatic. This test is suitable for adults aged 18 plus using self-sample, with assistance if needed, for adolescents between the ages of 12 and 17 using self-sample, with adult supervision if needed, and for children under the age of 11 whose sample must be provided under adult supervision. You should keep this kit out of the reach of children, as the kit contains small parts that may present a choking hazard. You will be given enough kits for eight tests. Your test kit comprises of a plastic tube with lid, a spare test kit barcode, a leak-proof bag with absorbent pad, a polygrip bag, do not touch or remove the absorbent pad from the leak-proof bag. You will also need a clean teaspoon for collecting saliva, hot water and a towel or hand sanitizer. It is important that you do not drink, including water, do not eat, do not brush or floss your teeth or use mouthwash one hour before taking your sample. First, wash your hands with soap and hot water for 20 seconds, then rinse and dry them, or use hand sanitizer. You will only be given one copy of the instructions for use. You should keep these instructions in a safe place, so that you can refer to them each time you take a sample. Clean and dry a surface and then place the test kit contents on it. After you have done this, Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, then rinse and dry them, or use hand sanitizer. Remove the contents from the outer bag. Open the tube by unscrewing the lid. You will only need to submit one tube for each test. To help you create enough saliva for the test, imagine you are eating and move your mouth as if you are chewing. Thinking of your favourite foods can also help to create saliva. Tilt your head forward so the saliva collects at the front of your mouth and release your saliva into a clean teaspoon. You will need about half a teaspoon, two milliliters, of saliva. If there is blood or food particles present within the sample, this will need to be discarded and the sample collection process repeated using a clean teaspoon. Then, carefully pour the saliva into the tube provided, ensuring that the tube is filled to the 2 milliliter marker, and screw the lid securely onto the tube, making sure it fits properly. Ensure there is enough saliva collected to reach the 2 milliliter line on the collection tube. Open the leak-proof bag and place your tube into the bag alongside the absorbent pad. Do not touch the absorbent pad or remove it. Then, seal the bag using the grip seal, ensuring it is airtight. Place the bag containing the tube in the polygrip bag and seal this as tightly as possible, pushing out the air before it is sealed. Now wash your hands with soap and hot water for 20 seconds, then rinse and dry them, or use hand sanitizer. After you have taken your sample, keep at room temperature away from direct sunlight and heat. Do not put your sample in a fridge or freezer. You need to register each sample to get your test result. If you are registering yourself, go online to gov.uk forward slash register your test. You will need your test kit barcode number. If your organization is registering this sample for you, they may ask you for the spare test kit barcode. This will match you to your sample. Do not put the spare test kit barcode into the sample bag. 
If you do not have access to a mobile number or email address, you need to call 119 to register your sample. You should make a note or take a picture of your barcode. You will need this if you have to call 119 for support. You should take your sample to the designated drop-off point as soon as possible and within four hours of taking it. Your organization will advise you when and where to drop off your sample. A courier will collect your sample from the drop-off location and take it to the laboratory to be tested. Your sample may be void if you do not drop it off within four hours of taking it. Receiving your results. Test results will be sent by text message and or email from the NHS within 24 to 48 hours of the sample reaching the laboratory. If you do not have an email or mobile telephone, you should call 119 to get your test results, but please wait for 48 hours before you do this. A negative result means it's very unlikely that you had COVID-19 at the time of the test. You can still get the virus in the future. You should continue to follow government guidelines and advice. A positive result means you had COVID-19 when the test was done. You should follow the current government guidelines regarding isolation. Please note that it is not necessary for you to organize another COVID-19 test through the NHS. You can contact 119 if you have any other questions or concerns. A void result means that it was not possible for the laboratory to process your sample. This is usually because there was not enough saliva to test. The specimen was contaminated with food or drink. The specimen was not sent in the correct tube. If you get a void test result, you should wait for your next sample collection day and take a new sample.